Hi, this is Roger Peterson. In this video, I'm going to talk about the role of the notary public in real estate transactions in Costa Rica. Most North Americans equate the role of the notary public with somebody who authenticates their signature on legal documents. However, Europeans may be a bit more familiar with the civil law notary system that we have in Costa Rica. What is the difference between the US and Costa Rica? As you can see on the screen, in the US, you pay your $69 and you take an online course and you are a notary public. In Costa Rica, on the other hand, in order to be a notary, you have to first be an attorney. And then you have to take a one year specialized notary course in order to be able to practice as a notary. In civil law countries such as Costa Rica, the notary is an agent of the government in that only the notary can record documents in the national registry. He's sort of a gatekeeper of documents that enter into the recording system. In North America, it is more prevalent that title companies handle the real estate closing process. In Costa Rica, on the other hand, it is the notary public that acts as the title company. It is the notary public that conducts the title search, that drafts the document, and that records the deed in the recording office. In the real estate closing process, it is the notary public that is responsible for collecting all the documents related to the transaction. The notary public must properly identify the parties, and then must collect their original signatures on a book called the Protocolo. This is where all the signatures of the parties are logged in real estate transactions that occur in Costa Rica. The notary then makes an extract of that document called a testimonio, and that is the document that is recorded in the recording office in San Jose. So if you're going to enter into a real estate transaction in Costa Rica, you will need the services of a notary public to record that transaction for you.